bro, with any of hey, that. Hey, bro, hey, hey, bro, I ain't finished. I ain't finished my sentence. Non Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're looking at musicians whose personal reputation, if not career, were completely unraveled by scandal. I need somebody to help me not have a big heart because my heart is so big. People betray me and I keep forgiving them. You sound like you're playing the victim here. Number 10, Jerry Lee Lewis. Jerry Lee Lewis always caused commotion as an early rock and roll rebel. Incidentally, the wild child went too far by settling down with Myra Gale Brown in 1957. After four triumphant concerts, Lewis inadvertently referred to Myra's age at a press conference. All hell broke loose. The 22-year-old Lewis publicly lied about his third wife's real age, who was a teenager. She was also his first cousin once removed. Just like that, Lewis publicly went from bad boy to total creep. The subsequent concert cancellations and boycotts devastated his popular appeal. I had no airplay on the radio. I couldn't see anything I did wrong. And Jerry's records were pulled from the stations. He was blacklisted. He could not do a TV show. He was... He was bad news. No one would touch him. He remained an active musician for the rest of his life, whose influential work is still celebrated. The man himself would never recover from his union with Brown, or its disillusion on the grounds of infidelity and abuse. This wasn't Lewis's last scandalous marriage. Jerry Lee Lewis's talent was never in doubt, but his personal life will forever raise questions about his legacy. Number 9. Ryan Adams Prolific singer-songwriter Ryan Adams has enjoyed great acclaim and clout in the music industry. Many fellow musicians counted on him in their own careers. In 2019, seven women told the New York Times that this came with strings attached. They claimed that Adams used promises of professional support to sexually and romantically coerce them. If they resisted, he would use social media to sully their public image. Adams initially denied these allegations, but later took full responsibility for his history of abuse. Many didn't buy his formulaic apology and promise of growth. I, I find it curious that someone would make a public apology but not do it privately. Mm -hmm. um, I, I am speaking for myself, but... I have not heard from him, and I'm not looking for an apology necessarily, but I do find it curious that someone would sort of do an interview about it without actually making amends privately. Yeah. Some say the material he's produced since has suffered from a tone-deaf tone of self-pity. I don't remember when we wild and young, all that's faded in the man. Whether Ryan is truly remorseful, that music industry cloud is dried up. You had a lot of A-list friends that, that stayed quiet when, when all this happened. Did this sort of teach you who your, your real friends are? I mean, I got friends the whole, I have the whole alphabet. Yeah. So I'm good. Number 8. Ike Turner In the early days of rock and roll, Ike Turner was a visionary. He took the blues and created his own Ike Turner sound. He really got his big break by helping his wife Tina get hers. The couple revolutionized pop music, but no longer share the same esteem. After filing for divorce in 1976, Tina revealed that her marriage was plagued with physical and psychological abuse. Ike's public image, as well as his finances, were further tarnished by substance use and legal issues. All of this was cemented in pop culture by the biopic, What's Love Got to Do With It? What? I ain't hate. What you say? The Turners both stated that the film embellished their dysfunctional relationship. Still, while Tina is immortalized as the queen of rock and roll, the queen maker's legacy is overshadowed by cruelty. After the movie came out, people were like, sorry, we're not going to help. Number 7. Takashi 69 Daniel Hernandez stands out from a generation of rappers who made their stage name on SoundCloud. Unfortunately, it's not so much because of Takashi 69s work with big names in the industry. In 2015, he pled guilty to criminally sexualizing a minor in a music video. Over the next two years, he would be implicated in or admit to a number of violent offenses. Despite asking for time served, the judge cited a list of crimes linking Hernandez, which he said wreaked havoc across the city. He also softened racketeering and firearm convictions in 2018 by ratting on gang associates. 
After many assumed he would be free this week, Brooklyn rapper Takashi69 has been sentenced to 24 months in prison and a subsequent five years of supervised release. Hernandez left prison two years later, but was labeled a snitch in his community and an overall scumbag in the mainstream. He dug himself even deeper with several high-profile feuds. Don't tell me what I've chose to do in my life, because if I cho if I did what people say, oh, you should have did, you guys move on with your life. Otherwise, 6 ix music is as low profile as ever. Number 6. CeeLo Green In both hip-hop groups and solo soul, CeeLo Green was a titan of his industry. My life feels purposed and my music feels intentful and I feel empowered because of it. His reputation first started to bend in the early 2010s over hostile responses to critics online. It broke after he was accused of sexual battery and charged with assaulting an intoxicated woman. Green maintained his innocence by posting that victims remember the experience. He is a very popular celebrity in Los Angeles. The prosecutor has to consider that because the jury is going to like CeeLo Green. He made so many disturbingly ignorant comments that his account was temporarily shut down. A lackluster apology was insufficient to save one of music's most prolific stars. The scandal cost him gigs and nearly destroyed his career on the screen. Record sales have also suffered. CeeLo manages to stay busy, but now largely outside of public view. The accusation, it, it, it was so untimely and unfortunate. Number 5. Ian Watkins Fans were devastated when the Welsh Rockers' lost profits broke up in 2013. The reason why was the most devastating part. The previous year, lead singer Ian Watkins was arrested for possession of drugs and highly obscene materials. Because he shows no emotion, he uh, shows no sympathy, he shows no guilt, and in this case the evidence is overwhelming. He eventually pleaded guilty to 10 counts of sexual activity with minors. Watkins' abuses had been reported to police as early as 2008. The police watchdog, the IPCC, confirmed they'd now identified as many as five forces who since 2009 had passed on information about Watkins to South Wales Police. The horrific scandal has even besmirched his bandmates' legacies. Lost Profits music and merchandise have been basically blacklisted from the public. Thankfully, most of its members have found success with the band No Devotion and other beloved projects. Watkins, meanwhile, is serving 29 years in prison for his heinous crimes. There is no doubt in my mind that Ian Watkins has exploited his celebrity status. Number 4. Marilyn Manson Industrial metal pioneer Brian Warner made a career out of shocking the public as Marilyn Manson. His subversive brand would gradually be hidden from the mainstream over several high-profile murders committed by fans. I think it's my job as an artist to be out there pushing people's buttons and making them question everything. He was a key subject and proponent of discourse following the Columbine High School massacre. I definitely can see why they would pick me because I think it's easy to throw my face on a TV because I'm, in the end, sort of a poster boy for fear because I represent what everyone's afraid of, because I do and say what I want. In 2021, Manson finally lost his niche group of supporters. Multiple people, including ex-fiancé Evan Rachel Wood, alleged years of abuse and sexual assault. It's a cycle, and it, it bleeds into so many problems in, in our country and our society that we are not even aware of. Manson has not released new material or toured since. He's been embroiled in legal battles with his accusers, which have raised concerning testimony against all parties. But with disturbing evidence suggesting that Manson's horror isn't just for show, few are still willing to defend him. Number 3. Gary Glitter I deeply regret doing what I was sent to prison for. Paul Gadd helped broaden glam rock's pop appeal with the flamboyant anthems and live performances of Gary Glitter. He'd still be an icon of the genre if it weren't for his shocking criminal history. In 1999, Gadd was convicted of possessing obscene content and registered as a sex offender. His career died on the spot. Glitter served two months in prison, and upon his release, he claimed he was repentant. After prison, Gad tried starting anew outside of England, only to be deported and banned from several countries for continuing to fraternize. A conviction in Vietnam resulted in deportation to his homeland. 
where he was convicted of multiple sex crimes in 2015. Judge Alistair McQueeth told Glitter, I have read the impact statements of all three victims. It is clear in their different ways they were all profoundly affected. The Gary Glitter brand has now faded into obscurity, and all that's left is a criminal rejected by the whole world. Number 2. Kanye West Even more astonishing than Kanye West's renown was his downfall. He first lost mainstream credibility with baffling statements throughout the 2000s. This included poorly phrasing racial concerns after Hurricane Katrina and hijacking an award acceptance speech by Taylor Swift. Taylor, I, I'm really happy for you. I'm going to let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. One of the best videos of all time. West then polarized the black community by downplaying racism and aligning with right-wing politics through the 2010s. This culminated in a representation of white supremacist culture in the 2020s, especially anti-Semitic conspiracy theories. That dealt a destructive blow to West's music career, business brand, and social media presence. Still, he always finds a platform for his outrageous views. I know they're going to say whatever they want about me. They're gonna, when I bring up the truth... They're going to say, you didn't get enough sleep. It's because of your health. Many link the rapper's antics to mental illness or mere attention-seeking. But as Wes continues to dig himself into scandal, he can't even count on public pity. There is a sense uh, of sadness and tragedy when you think about individuals who have known him for so long. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. R. Kelly Do you like teenage girls? When you say teenage, how are we talking? The one-time king of R&B has gone from one of music's biggest stars to one of its worst pariahs. R. Kelly's glamorous image first cracked in 1994 when the 27-year-old briefly married underage singer Aaliyah. His indiscretions were further suggested throughout the 2000s by allegations and a hard-won legal battle. Robert feels as if he's invincible. I can't be touched. And in hindsight, in society, we kind of made him feel that way. The public was completely divided until the subsequent decades ended their debate. Accusations of sex cults and horrendous abuse led to widespread boycotts before the hit docuseries Surviving R. Kelly killed public sympathy. I think R. Kelly is on everybody's uh, permanently canceled list. All of this is wrong. R. Kelly has a sickness. <laughs> yes, I believe R. Kelly's a dirtbag scumbag and somebody should press charges and try to prosecute again. Press charges, let's go! This inspired a series of trials leading to convictions on racketeering, trafficking, and other crimes. Kelly began his 31-year prison sentence in 2023. Though there's no salvaging the musician's once-celebrated art, his victims have finally received justice. Which scandal changed your tune about an artist? Open up in the comments. Robert. I didn't do this stuff. This is not me, y'all. I'm fighting for my life. Y'all killing me!